Hi everyone, this is Kushal Shrivishmali and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I just want to share a plugin that I recently made. That is today, you know, and I want to share with all of you how I did it. Uh, probably what it is in this video and maybe in the future videos I'll talk about how I built it. And it's in very early stage. Maybe I will call it in alpha release, whatever, right? So, so yeah, I will probably just talk about what it does for now and the motivation behind it. So let me give you some context. Okay. Suppose you're building a project, right? In your VIM and you want, you're like, you're always uh, opening this project and you want to build your uh, project with this make file probably, or if you're in Python, you have the setup.py that you want to install, develop and all of that, right? So I'm more like a research engineer. So I, you know, don't code a lot in Go or something like that, right? So I didn't have a lot of experience, by, but I always wanted to get my hands on, uh, you know, building new Vim plugins. And I want to quickly give shout out to TJ. Uh, check out his YouTube channel. By the way, I have linked his YouTube channel in the description down below. So he was talking about auto commands in the recent, uh, in his recent videos. And it was very interesting, you know. So I earlier skipped it. I was like, yeah, maybe it's something I want to try. But I was not very sure what it does. You know, what's the motivation behind it? But today morning, I wanted to build this plugin. I knew what I wanted to do. And I've been asking a lot of people, you know, what are the alternatives that people use? And some are like, they use just... Uh, which is another you know kind of a script that you can just call it and uh, run it for multiple languages but it just didn't come very naturally to me right and there's another plugin called nvim hyphen build me which is great right but uh, i didn't want things to open in terminal and plus a lot of mess that i didn't want personally it was very personalized to be honest right those are some great great plugins if you want to test them out right but for me i wanted to build something which you know i understand how it's built and I understand what people like me might want to build, but it's not what a plugin should be, right? So I'm hereby making it public. That also means that I will be looking for your feedback. Please go and create your issues. You know, let me know what you want. Okay, so that I can also think about the new features that I can add and how I can fix things that are kind of a workaround right now in this plugin. So yeah. Anyways, enough of chat, uh, chit chat, right? We let's go and dive right into the plugin first. Okay. So what I want to show you is a problem statement, right? So as I talked about, suppose you have this terminal window, right? So let me quickly zoom in for all of you, right? So I have created a folder called CPP check, right? And let's enter this. Okay. Now what you have is you, you have a main.cpp file, right? And you do hash include, uh, let's do IO stream and oops okay all right there you go and i can do start c out hello youtube okay and there you go that's it right now you want to build it right you want to test it usually what you will do is either open toggle term right and try g plus plus which is fairly simple if you have z shell installed or you can use bash control r and all of that right but still like you know it's something just shortcut for you to build your project now for files like these it's very easy that you do g plus plus mean dot cpp and it will work for you right and then you do dot slash a dot out that's something that you can do right in the terminal you can also do g uh g plus plus main dot cpp that's also one thing that you can do right and you can keep it open and you can keep keep doing this right there are there's several opportunities for you to build things, right? What I thought was, I just want a simple shortcut that does this for me, but I want the command to be changeable, right? So because right now I'm in my C++ file, I don't necessarily want to uh, use G++. Maybe I want to use Clang. Maybe I want to use make file. Maybe I want to shift to something else, right? So I don't, I don't know what I want to do right now because it depends on the projects by projects. If you're contributing to an XYZ project, they might be using some different build systems, right? So, so it depends, right? So what I have built is let me quickly show you. So if I do control space, which is my which key uh, binding, and if I do a, which is basically going to show me all the bindings that I have uh, in this in this plugin so i can do add or change command that you want to run every time you have this uh run run the command thing right so let's try to do this um so let's do add or change command and what the input what's the input command you want you have this uh shortcut here i mean you have this input here so i can just say g plus plus main dot cpp and end dot slash a dot out right so that's what you want to see every time you run this and here here it also shows you using nvim notify right so that's an, a dependency of this plugin okay so once this is done all you need to do is again press this uh, which key i mean enter the which key and go to r which is run the command 
and if you see it uh, opens another buffer it's not a terminal right it just doesn't have numbers and uh, this sign uh, sign thing and all of that right so you you see that it says output from g++ main.cpp and dot slash a dot out hello youtube that's what it built okay now let's see if i don't want this right i just want to hide it now so i can press escape right and i can but i want to see this again now now suppose you are trying to build something new right but you blow but you broke the code okay now you don't want uh like you just want the output to be shown right so what you can do is you can do control space a and you can do toggle output window right so as you can see i have actually broken this code right this will not compile anymore but you can st still see the output that was present before like uh, the last time you built it okay so it also saves that as a buffer separately in the in a in an array and all of that right so so yeah that also shows you uh some something that's really cool with this plugin now let's say you want to build this and see what the errors are so you can do control space you can do a again just to enter this plugins uh, key maps you can do c which is basically not a uh, clear command it's basically clear buffer but it says buffer not open yet so it also shows you some really cool uh, things that are present you know some for example if i do control space a and if i do R, that means it's going to run it again and you can see this error that it shows the cool thing is that you can also resize it, resize it if you have the mouse mode on you can resize it normally so it's not something that you know is very difficult to use and you can edit it if you want i want to make it uh, as an option for the users to be honest because <clears throat> i don't know of course you don't want to edit it but it's something that i didn't change yet um i was too lazy to do it right now uh, because i had my focus on different other features but it's something i have to do so yeah as you can see that it's very cool that you can see these things uh the next step would be probably to uh syntax highlight this as well so that you can see what are the errors and all of this right but that's for the next stage you can also uh, hit escape or q just to exit these and this will actually kill this buffer okay because normally what q will do is it will not delete it right because earlier what used to happen if i press q and if i try to exit this code just by pressing wq it will not exit for me it will uh, say some error and all of that right so i have uh, overridden that binding which actually clears this, that buffer only okay nothing else don't worry about it but it's again that's something i need to add in the readme and uh, allow the users to be very flexible with that right so that's also one thing uh, anyways uh, so let's try to see what else we have so you can also clear all the command and buffer suppose you want to clear the command as well as the buffers what that means is whatever command you had before you can clear that out right you can also clear all the buffers that were opened which probably might not be but yeah anyways by default the command is uh, dot build me dot sh that is basically a shell script file that you want to edit probably so i can do e that means edit the build file now it takes you to uh, build me dot sh right now you can edit it here so i can start uh, so it, it made this file for you now i can do uh, start making this file maybe i can do g plus uh, plus main dot cpp and and dot slash a dot that's it right so now i can go back to my previous file and i can do control a and i can run this and you can see that it says that permission denied <laughs> sure why not i can do chmod plus x uh, build me dot sh which basically gives it executable rights now i can do control a uh, okay now now you see it didn't open because that buffer was open right so what you can do is you can do uh, c and that will close the buffer buffer for you and you can try to run it again it will open this file for you so you see main.cpp error expected now it's actually building through the build me.sh what that means is that you don't necessarily like you can always have this shell script file you can have anything you want python3 app.py sure why not go space file name dot uh, file name dot go go sure why not lua space file name dot lua sure why not you know so all of these things work and i didn't change this name by the way built me because this plugin came as an idea from two people i want to acknowledge them ts oding he is very popular on youtube and twitch so he used to do this right he whenever he builds he has this compilation path right and he changes that i mean command and he will run it and see the output in the in something like this here right and then he will toggle it and all of this so i wanted to build something of my own i couldn't find it on in like in any of the new vim plugins maybe there are but they're so complex right so this one is very easy to use just gives you what you need probably of course new features are welcome and also nvim build me person who built that plugin the uh, the link will be in the description down below so please do check it out uh, it's just something that 
uh, couldn't help me out and i of course could have raised a feature request but i wanted to learn how to build plugins and that's the reason why i started with it and i built i'm sharing with all of you because i think it's in a good enough stage that people people can use and we can build something good out of it, out of this okay so yeah that's something that i've built uh, of course by, by like just for your information you can do auto runner and you can have all these uh, options that you have with this pl plugin. And the installation is very simple. If you're using Packer, you can just do, let me quickly go, let me close it. Okay, and let's do um, j nvim nvim lua user plugins.lua. And I can do PR Shimali, uh, not this one. There you go. So you can see nvim auto runner, that's what you have, right? And you can directly just put this in the Packer uh, config if you're using some other. Uh, I don't know, plugin manager, right? You can just follow this, follow whatever you use, right? I usually just use Packer, so that's how it works. And it should be very easy to get started. Nothing is, you don't need to do anything, of course, because it, it doesn't have a lot of features, but I'm still building on it, okay? Now, before I go, I want to give a few credits to a, pe like a few people, right? First of all, TJ, thank you. Thank you so much for building that videos. Uh, so please guys do check it out. It's it's a really cool thing because if you're using NeoVim, you need to like, it will be good that you understand how these plugins are written or how can you, uh, you know, modify your config to make your, your life easier. Because trust me, every developer has different choices, right? And it's really possible for any plugin to serve everyone in the world right which is obvious so so yeah maybe you would like to write your own plugin one day and share it with you share it with the world and maybe those 20 percent of people who are like you will use that plugin and it's something that you will build for the society and community so yeah uh, definitely check out his videos i also want to give shout out to chris um Again, his channel will be in the description down below. Uh, his videos and his Discord community is super awesome, right? Uh, I use his NeoVim config, of course, with a lot, lot of edits, but that's just me personalizing my stuff. But he he and his kindness and his uh, Discord community and all the people out there are very helpful. So do join that community if you want. TS Hooding for his uh, awesome streams and when build me, build me that plugin author. And of course, uh, there's one guy who st uh, whose name starts with the, right? The Prime Asian, if I'm pronouncing the name right, I, I'm, I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, that guy is such a such an inspiration, right? He builds things on Twitch, right? He is super awesome. He is he's a source of positivity and inspiration for all the uh, aspiring developers. And all, I mean, just normal, you know, just those who love computer science. I mean, I really admire his approach towards what he does and how he builds things. So thank you so much for everything. Uh, and yeah, that, that was just acknowledgement section. I hope that you didn't skip this section because I'll be adding timestamps so that it's easier for everyone to catch up. Again, guys, uh, the readme in the plugin will be in very uh furnished stage in a couple of days i started working on it today so it took me around seven to eight hours to get everything done okay so it was six hours ago the first commit however i woke up at 6 30 a.m in the morning and started working on it so i i really appreciate if people can be kind enough with their criticism okay i understand that people can may not like it do let me know i'm very happy to improve but just be kind okay uh it affects me sometimes <laughs> i'm trying to get rid of it though uh but yeah and please start the repo if you like it just like you know click on this click on this there you go and subscribe to my youtube channel if you like this content if you want to see how i build this plugin you know i can i would probably appreciate if you can like this video and let me know that you want a video on that and i'll definitely make a stream on this okay so thank you so much everyone this was kushash ravish mali and you are on my youtube channel thank you bye bye everyone stay happy keep working hard okay and enjoy whatever you do okay just enjoy. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.